What's up guys, Mike BAK Phony here, and this is Painkiller HD! Hell and Damnation. Yes, this is a remake of the original Painkiller. And let me tell you, so far it looks pretty fantastic. Uh, the title screen, that is. Looks amazing, doesn't it? Now, this is a preview of the beta, which is like a preview preview, kind of. Nobody's got this except like a handful of us. So you're gonna start seeing footage pop up over the next week or so. I wanted to get in here to give you guys a good, a good relatively thorough look at the single player portion of it because again there's not a lot of people that have this so therefore it's kind of difficult to really put together you know a multiplayer game um this this particular game actually does have uh a, a special place in in my gaming like shelf that has all of my gaming stuff on it and things that i've done in the past and i'll tell you why in just a minute but first let's go ahead and get into the game and take a look all right so <clears throat> as you can see uh, this is a relatively recent beta, 9.4, right? So they're still obviously working out kinks and bugs. If we come across something that's funky or doesn't work right, we just gotta say it's beta, and that's pretty much it, right? Uh, let's go ahead and sign a new pack. Again, we're only gonna do single player for the time being. We're gonna go with Daydream for just, just first. We're gonna go with Daydream first only because I want to just breeze through the first level so you guys get a good look at the first area. No, nah, 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 what am I doing? No, nah, let's go back. We'll put it on. No, nah, that doesn't mean I'm gonna go straight to uh, Insom to uh, Nightmare. We're gonna go to Insomnia, how's that? It's a little bit more difficult, uh, not as crazy as Nightmare. And uh, again, we'll, we're gonna go through and we'll point out a couple things because I have played the original Painkiller. Uh, I played it, I played it a lot given the circumstances, which I'll explain more in a second. But as you see here, other players can join uh, I actually have this set up so that uh, you click on it and then anybody who's playing the game at the same time I am can also jump in But that's probably not gonna happen because no one's playing the game now I only have 22 gold and I have all these tarot slots now these cards can all be picked up as you play the game And you notice here uh, I have endurance take only half the damage But I do not have enough gold to throw it into my first slot here So we're gonna go and back out and we're gonna go ahead and uh, we'll select the cemetery if you've ever played Painkiller has seen any footage you have seen the cemetery. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in To this now uh, This game is extraordinarily lightweight uh, Just like how 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 well it plays. I was definitely floored by how well it plays um, It is uh, right now. I do have everything kind of v-synced so I, it, it doesn't have it's not very adaptive uh, in those terms so I'm experiencing a little bit of of mouse latency as I'm recording uh, I've tried various different types of recording just to try to get it right, but uh, you know what? F it. Uh, <laughs> I'd rather give you guys crisp, clear frames and maybe play slightly crappier than I normally do uh, than, you know, sit there with like dislodged frames and just tearing all over the place. Oh, okay, I'm getting. Now, again, this is a, uh, a game that, to me, it kind of feels like Diablo, right? Like, Diablo kind of has that feel where you just kind of play the same repetitive gameplay over and over again. And uh, all you do is just, you collect things. That's your job. You go through, you kill things, you collect things, right? In this case, I am collecting souls and gold. And that's, that's kind of it. Uh, I don't really think there's anything else off the top of my head. I can't really call anything. Let's put a shotgun really quick here. But uh, if anything pops up, I will let you know. See, there's gold right there. Picked it up. Now look around at the UI. You see that at the top there's a red arrow that basically tells me there's bad guys that way. So if you're in a big open map or something and there's bad guys floating around the screen, it will tell you. Uh, I also noticed the music stopped playing, but usually uh, I turned it on, but maybe it reset itself and I can't change it mid-game. I'm sure that will change soon. I love to change that kind of stuff while I'm playing and I have to get out and come back in. Now, lots of destructible items are in the game. Like, almost every other thing is destructible. See, I just shot money out of that thing. I actually didn't know I could shoot that. <laughs> that red thing just indicates go here to move on to the next area. But in the meantime, I'm gonna run around, shoot some things, try to collect some stuff, and then I'll move on. And I'm also wasting a ton of ammo using this, but it's okay. I'll live. Start in the next area. Here we go. Ammo ammo. Now this is definitely one, I mean, it, it's reflective of how shooters used to be. There's no reload, it's just basically you have a giant pool of ammo. The, there's no like, oh, you only have two weapons that you could use, right? There's nothing like that. It's just pick up ammo 
and use it. And then pick up more and use some more. And then it's, it's very, very basic. Not a whole lot here. Now, <laughs> I will do a playthrough on, uh, what is that, on Nightmare Mode or whatever. Uh, and you guys will see that it, it is, there is a huge difference between that and this. And frame rate loss or not, in terms of sync and mouse latency or whatever, which by the way, it doesn't happen uh, if you are, if you're actually just playing the game normally, it does not happen. It's only happening with me right now because I've configured my entire machine to cater to these stupid capture cards and now I'm paying for it dearly. I think I've screwed up their pathing. They have no idea where I'm at. Oh, here they come. All right. Notice, break things, get paid. That's pretty much it. It's easy. Can I break this? Sure can, nothing in it. Now these souls here, they give me health and, oh, I gotta pick them up for they disappear. Uh, they give me health, one health per, per one. And then at the top right, you see right at top middle there, on the right hand side, you see when I pick up this one right here, it'll change to 23 and my health also goes up one notch. Uh, that is your, I believe it's called a demon mode or something. It basically, I mean, you'll know it when you see it. Yeah. Uh, I love this. Uh, you'll, you'll know when you see it, but it is basically I'm incredibly awesome mode and everything just dies in one shot. But it only lasts for a short period of time and that's it. Oh, here we go. Lots of these guys. Let's change weapons here. Actually, this weapon's not good for this. Let's go and try to gather some of these guys up. Stun them. I don't think that worked, actually. Now, I'm trying to pull as much of this as I can from memory. And let me tell you about how I first got into playing this game. I never, <laughs> this is gonna sound funny, but I never actually owned this game, I, as in I never purchased it. No, I didn't pirate it. So go ahead and, you know, just forget, don't even try with that. <laughs> um, uh, I never bought it because yeah, there was no need for me to. And I was in a unique position where I was able to actually get away with that uh, legally. Actually, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not even joking. So, anyways, we're gonna comp USA, right? I was a sales manager there, and you know we had a bunch of demo laptops and demo gaming machines and whatnot, right? They're basically really expensive for no reason, kind of like uh, you know some other products you can buy online that seem slightly overpriced for what they are. Gaming machine, buy it. You know, pay extra money for it. Um, it is a oh. okay. That's right. These guys burst and then they drop their souls after. Way after. Let's go back and collect them. Uh, and those those ones disappeared. Crap. Anyways, uh, we installed this game. We actually, we so with it, we, we wrote off a whole bunch of, of uh, copies. And what ends up happening is we basically return the vendor. We get credit for it, right? So the publisher doesn't actually lose anything for it. Uh, we take it and we put it on the game, on the uh, computers. And uh, we could demo the product to customers. And there's no better way to demonstrate the power of a computer than to load up some beastly looking game. And Painkiller at the time, like 2002, 2003, oh man, no, 2004 actually. Uh, Painkiller is one of those games that looked fantastic. And all of these guys flying all over the place was just, uh, it was just a credit to that. It was like, it made it look like there was so much crap going on. And to the average consumer, they would look at this and be like, oh my God, that's like crisis. And you're just like, yes, this that's like crisis, crisis. This machine runs crisis. Sorry, you should buy this laptop from me. Oh, and also this extended warranty. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Or tap as it were. Too many years of comp, you say. Um, anyways, so we, we had written off a couple copies and we put it on a few machines. Uh, one in particular, it was like the one machine that had it on was the Sony, Alpha 290, so only Sony A290. Uh, you can probably Google it. I'm sure it still exists somewhere in the world. But it was one of those machines that was supposed to be like the portable laptop gaming experience. Oh, nice. Uh oh, that's not good. I kind of like that weapon. Oh well, shotgun. But it was one of those laptops that was capable of running these games, and so we had to set up in the Sony section, <laughs> way in the back. Uh, and we sat there and we played it all day long. Like, we played it a lot. And <laughs> I'm surprised we actually got anything done. Uh, Copy say shortly after that closed down. I don't know if those two events are related, but whatever. Uh, so that's where I got all of my uh, painkiller experience. Oh, yellow ore, that's a lot of health. Uh, 
Oh, it's not fill up over a hundred. Hmm. I'll have to come back if I need it. I'm sh I'm certain that's health if I recall. Again, we're going off memory. Now, there's also a couple cool things with the weapons that you guys should note. Uh, every single one of them has uh, multi-fire, right? They all have alternate fire. So notice that that one has a stun style beam that comes out. That one's infinite. It'll last forever, right? And you also have a uh, the shuriken that fires out the main the main fire. Now, the, the laser here, it's not going to break everything, right? Notice it just kind of threw that in the air. But the Shrieking will. And you want to break this stuff in order to find gear or gold so you can buy stuff later on. Now, kind of want to get, get get going here a little bit. I want to keep moving on to the next level, the next area, so I can show you guys, uh... <sighs> uh just pain in the ass mode, basically. Here we go. And all those things, those are all ammo, right? There's a ton of it. It's all over the place. You almost, you almost never have issue with ammo globally. You'll have issue with ammo on like a particular weapon or something, but that's pretty much it. There we go. There he is. So you see it's utilizing both fires in order to make your experience a little bit better. So shock him, right? He's stunned, shoot him in the face, shock him. You can kill him with this actually. There you go. Some of the, some of the stronger ones, they won't die from this. But these guys save ammo and just do this all day. No big deal. Now they're gonna burst. Drop soul, drop souls, drop it. Yes. Oh, oh okay, okay. That was an indicator that's saying, hey, in a few more of these, you're going to turn into demon mode. I can't remember if it, it used to be 66, I think. But uh, I'm not quite sure. Anyways, as far as alternate fire mode, everything has alternate fire. That has a freeze right there, and then shotgun, right? Uh, this one is called the stake gun, so it shoots a stake and fires grenades, which I have none of, so I'll show you that later. And that's pretty much it. I think the next level we'll get some more goodies. We'll be able to run around and blow stuff up. These, these things, check out. When they scream, everything goes dark. So shoot them in the face a couple times, damn, three times, and then move on. Come on, where are the rest? Oh crap. There's a freeze. Notice that one back there froze. That one missed. There we go. Yeah, Mike B. Oh. Nope. Oh. Should have switched to that sooner. Save a couple couple ammo chunks. Oh my god, okay, I do not want to turn into crazy beast guy just yet. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a candle, okay. It looked like an item. Now, there's another thing that, uh, if I remember, I'll point out to you, but it has to do with the way the game looks visually. I'll try to remember that in just a minute. First, let's try to get through this. Okay, yeah, that closes, and my next stop is, here we go. Okay, gotta switch. Damn it. Uh, uh, get out, get out, get out. Trying to get out of this, this is not a good zone to be in. Woo! All right, oh, you're not down. Okay, here we go. Now I'm in beast mode. Okay. It was 66. So boom. Boom. It's pretty much it's pretty much amazing mode. Easy stuff. It doesn't last too long, so you want to try to time it as best you can. I know it's hard. It's not easy because you're going to be randomly running over souls. But to have that during some of the bigger pulls is just uh, it's invaluable, really. And that's it. Got some crazy whispers going on. Is that one of those ladies? Yes. Oh, that's right. There's a whole grip from over here. No problem. No, no, no. Is there another one over here? Oh, hey. That one dropped uh, some stuff there. Some treasure. 
Now, I don't know if you guys noticed or even pointed it out yet, but there's a big ass thing running around here that does not look happy. I don't know where it's at. I'm sure we'll see it. What the hell? I don't think that they're uh, they're quite happy. Hear the voices, the whispers. All right, bring it. We got a whole bunch of tiny skeletons, little kids or something. Sorry, shoot them in the face. And that's it. The area unlocked. We'll run around back here. Make sure there's nothing there. Okay, and then that thing explodes. Comes in very handy for when you need something to explode. That little box I just picked up, full ammo everything. Moving on. It should be coming across the end sometime soon. Yeah, here we go. This is not the end, by the way. This is just the, uh, nope. Woo! Hear the painkiller whispers? Back alley. Woo! <laughs> uh, yeah, imagine showing this to a customer and being like, well, besides the fact that there's gore and whatnot, they were pretty much down with that. They just wanted to see how powerful the laptop is. They're like, can this play the latest games? Of course it can, sir. It plays painkiller. Because it was painkiller at the time was just so, so lightweight uh, and looked so damn good that it just, it would run on laptops. So it was like, yeah, sure, sir. This totally plays all the latest games. This is the latest game. Look, it's brand new. It's on our shelf. It wasn't really being facetious or anything. It was the truth. It really did play a latest game. That's all. Ammo. Oh, I showed you, uh, actually, oh, you know what? I do want to show you the... The uh, stake gun slash grenade launcher. So here we go. We have a stake gun, then we have a grenade, right? No big, right? Okay. The grenade blows stuff up. We'll go and pick that up. Okay, now this is where it gets a little tricky. Do you see that? Look at that. Tell me that's not awesome. Does he notice? It doesn't go that far, it goes right there. Okay, launch, shoot. Oh, I missed. There we go. Kind of neat. <laughs> I don't use the word neat all the time, but when I do, that means it's probably kind of neat. Now, again, you can play co-op through this, which I'm sure is amazing and phenomenal, but uh, unfortunately not available at this time. Here we go. Now we're getting into business mode. We wanna rally these guys up here. Throw a grenade. Da -da 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 -da. Obviously not in, in uh, miserable mode. Just kind of easy. Just kind of chilling, running around in big circles, which you spend a lot of time doing in this game. Again. It, it to me it feels like a first-person Diablo not just because of the uh, the th you know thematically speaking right it's not just that it's also because uh, of the style of gameplay it's hordes and hordes of mobs you grind the mobs out it gets progressively more difficult as you uh, up up the difficulty uh oh I'm in the corner here get out of there there we go drop it right there how about dropping right here there we go. Damn, damn, these guys are just relentless. Now, wait till we get to the more the harder difficulties. This is actually starting to get a bit a uh, bit difficult. I need to run around and collect as many of these as I can. Because I need the health. There we go. Oh. Really? Damn. Sneaking up behind me. This guy too. God, those green skellies. Just, they blend in with all of my green crap all over the place. All right, let's go. Jeez. 
Jesus. Jesus. Non stop. There we go. Anything out here to pick up? I'm sure there's tons of crap out there to pick up. I'm more concerned with the health orbs and nothing more. I seem to be getting stuck on tiny little things. Beta. Oh, beta. Oh, yes, please. I'm yes, there you go. So I guess if you're over 100 or something, it's not going to uh, give you any love. All right, so back to this. Back to the fights. Oh, what the? Where did you even come from? One skelly, really? By himself? Just like... All right. Ah, damn it, got my way. Get some ammo. Dodge this guy throwing gigantic rocks. This is pretty much the last guy in the, the graveyard. Okay, we need to get rid of those screaming witches because I, I, I'm not gonna be able to perform if I can't see anything. Can okay, definitely lay some more stuff into that guy. Oh crap! All right, we're about to use the. Oh, I don't have the card. Damn. Is that it? Oh damn, dude, really? I have to come back on harder mode later on. Not during this video. We'll save that. Just collect all this crap. Break everything in here. I may have missed something back there. It's all right. Good enough. And we leave. 20 minutes in here, 1907. I didn't even find half the gold or the armor. Did you find the holy item? Okay. Probably had to kill more, I don't know, ravens or something? Uh, damn. No secrets? Nothing. I did terrible. But it's alright. I killed all the monsters, at least. Pressing the any key. There we go. Now, I have some gold. Uh, I can go ahead and equip 276. So I can equip this. And I will. And we're gonna go to train station. Now... I want to change some stuff. And this is, this is important, because if you play the original Painkiller, you probably notice it's like, wow, this looks really bright. Holy crap, what's going on? It's because the gamma is extremely sensitive, and it's set right in the middle, when it should be more like this. This is a bit more the way, uh, a, bit, a bit more in line with uh, what it's supposed to look like. Now, I'm actually, I'm going to go back and up the uh, the music a little bit, too, because it's got some rocking, uh, <laughs> zombie slaying uh, music. So let's see, let's go ahead and we'll go to sign a new pack. This is probably gonna uh, screw up a little couple things, but it's fine because I want to change to Nightmare. Then we're gonna go Train Station. Do I have enough for another card? Yes. Okay. God, I'm gonna need that card if I remember to actually activate it while I'm playing. Train Station. Here we go. This is on the hardest, the hardest difficulty, not having not unlocked the next one. Now, you have a light. Now it looks like painkiller, right? Now we have rockin' ass music. Here we go. Set everybody, uh, electrocute them all. Oh, I'm out of that. Sweet. Some guy over here? Okay. Much, much harder to see. Obviously the difficulty's been ramped, so it's, we're gonna have much, much more fun. And the music is, uh, is rocking, so, uh, so, you know, the whole thing, the whole thing, I'm, I'm good, I'm good all the way around. Oh. Damn. Oh, crap. Exploding barrels? Damn. Last checkpoint. Because, yeah, that was a long time ago. Damn it. Oh, no, go back, go back, go back. Give me a break, guys. I've not played this game in 10 years. <laughs> okay, eight. There we go. Come on, come at, come at me. 
Why you sound angry now? Oh. Yeah, he just shakes it off. Nice. Great. Well, I got him, but he also fired at me, so I, I desperately need to watch my six here. Time to concentrate. Get low, get quiet. Stop dying. Armor. Ooh, 150 armor. That's gonna help me a lot, actually. Try to clear some of this stuff out. Okay, now, oh, now we have music coming up. Maybe it was just like some, oh God, some ambient stuff. Now the music, here it is. Kind of electro shock this guy. Yes, and the guy on the ground there. There's a guy on the ground. Oh, he's, he didn't even come out. Playing it safe with the with the music in the background. Like, dun -dun -dun -dun. I'm gonna sit back here just like a bitch. It's like do do do. <laughs> Can I see if I can hit that guy? Ricochet. Damn it. Oh, okay. Nice one shot. Beam of death. Make us a progress, guys. I guess in the harder difficulties, you're not necessarily supposed to just storm everything. Oh, ammo! Wait, hold on a second. Do I have a, uh... Oh, I do! Oh, crap! Oh, no, no, no. Okay, never mind. I mistaken that for the, uh, I thought for a second that I had the, uh, chain gun slash rocket launcher. All right, here we go. Got him. Okay. And then we move up to the next area. Where I'm gonna get slaughtered. Relentlessly. Don't need the light now. Boy, it was rough down there, man. Holy crap. I think uh, going from the the freaking cakewalk mode to the harder difficulty, just uh, I was not adjusting at all. That was just bad. But I'm not going to cut it out. Oh, crap. Try to get some range on these guys. There we go. Here we go. Chain gun slash rocket launcher. This will rocket launcher first. And we need the ammo. I want the high ground. But at the same time, I don't, because those guys have guns, and I also don't want to get swarmed. The fuck? She's like working or something? <laughs> She's on shift, you know? Alright, let's get up here. Oh! That is the freaking the janitor lady! Come on, where are these rest of these guys at? Oh, I can't jump on top of those? Oh, come on. Oh, uh, <laughs> I guess it would make sense. I can't get mad if you can't. About to beam of death some dudes.
Now this part is a little easier than I anticipated. The, the tunnels were, were definitely the darkness and just the, uh, the not adjusting to the difficulty curve that I set myself. That was definitely, uh, besides embarrassing, uh, <laughs> it was, that was obviously more difficult than this because I have all this room I can run around and avoid so much. Very, very easy to avoid stuff here. Now, obviously, with the harder difficulties, it's not going to be quite as easy to do some of this stuff. Let's clean some of this out. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Here you go. This is the standard use for the painkiller gun or weapon. Of course, it puts you right in harm's way. Oh, someone's got it. Lots of guns. Woo! This is where staking your grenades really, really comes in handy. Nah, there we go. Damn it. Okay, good enough. Oh. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Did the music really just stop right when it was over? That's pretty awesome. Well timed. Okay, maybe it wasn't necessarily over. The red arrow is telling me there's somebody over here. Oh, I see. The uh, I did I did actually finish right then. Nice. And if you notice, I have two health <laughs> and five armor. Uh, I I definitely want to I want to make a stand here as I go up the hill because there's gonna be some nonsense up there. <laughs> I don't want to just like get tapped and die because that is definitely gonna happen if I go in there like this. Oh my god, there's gonna be tons of ammo and that is it, isn't there? There's no yellow. Orbs or anything around. I am going to die. But that's okay because we should end this sometime soon. I think I've given you guys enough. Remember, you want to play this <laughs> it with this gamma because this is how it's supposed to be played where it's dark and all you have is a light. It just adds to the flavor. It's supposed to be played that way. Damn it. I'm going to die. Here we go. I'm going out. With the painkiller. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, all right, guys. Again, this is Painkiller Hell and Damnation. And yes, uh, it is a very nostalgic trip for me. It is very much like the original. Very, very, very much. Obviously, with a lot of updates in terms of graphics and look. It looks really, really good. Uh, and it plays really well. <laughs> when you have tons and tons of mobs around you, uh, it, it definitely kind of adds to the flavor, especially when you play the graveyard level uh, on the harder difficulties. It does get kind of crazy. Uh, my, sorry for the, you know, for being stuck in that tunnel, but you know what? Sometimes you just got to adjust and it's hard to be entertaining and be awesome at the same time. Uh, I could do one or the other really good, though, if I just focus on one or the other. <laughs> but this game is slated to come out sometime in October. And the price right now, the pre-purchase price is $19.99. So if you own the original Painkiller, if you've played it before, this is definitely a great nostalgia trip for you guys. Uh, I will definitely update if I get my hands on some multiplayer footage. The second I get that, you guys will see some of it. And hopefully it is awesome. Hopefully there's, uh, there's player killing uh, <laughs> in co-op because that would just add to the hilarity uh, of playing the game. So... Again, Painkiller and Mike VAK Phony, and I will see you guys later.